there are a lot of opportunities here in Cebu, especially now that we are transcending from the subsistence agriculture to manufacturing and to production. Five years ago, when we bought property, it was only 8,000 pesos per square meter in Cebu. Today, it's 50,000, five years ago. But why did they make it? Because of their being innovative. The manpower, the people here are very, very creative. It's a breeding ground for business leaders, really. Cebu is. Cebuanos are very, highly, fiercely competitive because they're the most disciplined, they're the most focused. Cebu has a different way of doing business. I think the economic leaders here want to move faster. It's the center of creativity in Southeast Asia. For me, that's already a brand. No other province in the Philippines can compete with Cebu. Cebu is the epitome of Philippine culture. Cebu is the gem or the jewel in tourism for me. We have so many good universities here, good hospitals here, which are very, very competitive. If this was a country and it was Cebu, oh my goodness. Cebu is dynamic in the sense that there is an interaction and collaboration between both the public and the private sectors. For us in business, I'd say that Cebu is different because this is where you can do business with honor. You're sitting on the cusp of something. This is a lot like Mexico. And, and, and I say that in a positive sense. Mexico, I think, is a land of opportunity, and I think you have a land of opportunity. Furniture, shipbuilding, tourism uh, are always going to be you know, strong and competitive um, industries here. You can just see that something big is going to happen. You have the financial and business district, you have the R&R aspect, you have the nature tripping, you have sports, and you have tourism. And that makes for a perfect destination. When you come to Cebu, you are an honored guest. When you leave Cebu, you are a friend. And then the next time you come, you will be a part of our family. That is Cebu.